We continue here on the postseason edition of Westmoreland on the Gridiron. Sean Myers now joined by Matt Humbert, the head coach of the Bell Vernon area Leopards, as his team embarks on the Class 4A bracket. First off, Matt, getting into the postseason, I know is a big accomplishment. Your team has been there so many times over the years. So what does it mean to get back to the playoffs, especially now back in 4A? Yeah, I mean, I think it'd be kind of slightly devastating if we didn't get in. Um, and just for the simple fact that, you know, we've never really – been in a position that we haven't made postseason. So, um, you know, we were fortunate enough to be able to get in and we're appreciative of that. And, um, you know, we're, we're looking forward to, uh, you know, hopefully being able to right the ship and, and, and put a better foot forward into the uh, postseason of our, of our campaign. Maybe you had to sweat it out a little bit on Saturday because your team did not clinch an automatic spot with that loss Ooh. against Trinity. So it came down to a wild card, and there was just two wild cards available in 4A. It was a much smaller field than every other class except for 6A. So what was that like after the loss on Friday night until you found out on Saturday when the brackets came out? Yeah, obviously a lot of uncertainty, and I think that, um, you know, I tried to walk away from my phone for all of the different text messages and, you know, calls I'm getting over it. And um, we still felt confident, we really did, that we would get one of the uh, one of the wild cards, but then at the same time, you truly don't know. And um, you never really know what the committee has on their mind or how they want to handle things. Um, we're appreciative of that, though, and, and we're excited for the opportunity, especially for our upperclassmen and seniors, um, you know, because the idea of ending our season at Trinity, I think that was something that was kind of just like, you know, a shell shock and, and um, a hard thing to kind of grasp, even though we've preached it for weeks, even though we really ramped it up our expiration date type of rhetoric, um, you know, to be in that position. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of uncertainty, a little bit of stress as well. Well, going back to that setback on Friday, you made the trek to Trinity and you fell by 10 points, 31, 21. What did you take away from that game? What will you have to do better? Well, I think one of the things that we need to do as a whole is we just need to play a little bit of more from a collective standpoint. Um, you know, I think one thing that we pride ourselves on here is that team chemistry and that family-like mentality. And I think that maybe took a little bit of a hit on Friday. Um, I'm optimistic that we can kind of gain that back. That that synergy, I think, wasn't there for the most part um, with our, our football organization. And that's really on me, no one else. So I need to do a better job of fostering that. I think we need to play more as a team. Um, you know, I think we need to pick each other up when when, when we kind of get down and and, you know, that's something that we'll emphasize for sure going into um, this week. But, um, you know, we got to take advantage of opportunities. I mean, it, Trinity was able to be opportunistic and they were able to take advantage of the opportunities presented at hand. And, you know, we uh, when we went up 21-14 in the third, you know, we felt like we were in good setting, comfort, comfortable. And then they were able to come back and hit that trick play and tie it up on us. Um, you know, and that kind of took a little bit of wind out of the cell. So we just got to be a little bit more resilient and we have to. Uh, be a little bit more forceful on meaningful downs when we need it. We didn't complete um, two third and mediums, third and shorts, and that really kind of sealed the deal for us in the fourth quarter. So we need to get a little better at that, and we just need to clean up some basic stuff. And I think, you know, the, the basic stuff that has kind of hurt us, I think we really need to, from a staff standpoint, need to emphasize and evaluate that a lot more. I mean, we need to um, – I don't want to say be basic, but we need to really hone in on, on the different things that um, – have got us to the point that we need to be in the postseason. And, uh, you know, that's on us as coaches. We need to make sure that we're putting the kids in the best possible situation. And, um, you know, we're just excited for that opportunity. You mentioned the word uncertainty when it came to this bracket. I know it has uh, received some criticism. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure you were focused primarily on your team getting in and then seeing who you would match up against. So you get the sixth seed against number three, McKeesport. But it seemed like first and foremost, your conference got a lot of respect with TJ getting the one seed Trinity five and U six. How did you evaluate the bracket as a whole? How did it align with your expectations after everything played out Friday night? Listen, I'm like not the average person when it comes to this. I really don't pay attention to it. I don't care where they put us, you know, in this certain situation in this year for the 2024 campaign, I'm just excited and happy that we were in. Um, and I know, I mean, again, I know that was a big topic of conversation and, you know, if you would, follow my coaches and the napkins and the paper plates with the different brackets on them and everybody kind of scrambling to try to figure out who's where I just never really engage in it. I mean, whoever they give you, they give you and you kind of go from there that I've been in positions where we've uh, had extreme success in the regular season and we still didn't get the first seed. So it's kind of one of those things. It's very subjective. 
Um, you know, I don't know. You know, I, again, I don't know. The committee might have just tried to avoid certain matchups and and maybe they started from backward moving forward. I don't know. And to me, it doesn't really matter. And I don't you know, I we don't talk about that with the kids yesterday. Like it didn't matter. I mean, um, we're just in and we're ready to play. I mean, if anything, I think we're more excited that we only have to travel, you know, 20 minutes to McKeesport opposed to, you know, an hour and 15 minutes to Aliquippa or somewhere else like that. So we benefited from a regional standpoint. Um, but again, can't overstate it. You know, we're just excited and, you know, we just try not to focus on on what the committee or what the perspective of the the outside looks at it is. We're, we're just ready to go and we're ready to get a good week of practice. In. It is a short trip. It's also a familiar one to McKeesport. Yeah. You played there earlier this season against the Tigers. You've been in a conference with them so many times over the years. So you know what to expect. I would imagine your players at this point know what to expect. But what challenges do the Tigers present to you? Well, they always present a handful. Um, you know, I think every time you talk McKee's Port football, you always gravitate towards our offense and what they do. Um, so, you know, the triple option and how they scheme and how they 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 run it is always a big point of emphasis. I mean, it's something that you practice for in the summer months. You know, it's not something you just practice for, you know, for four days and say, all right, let's go play them. Uh, so, you know, I think that that's obviously a big challenge. They've been able to roll the past three games. They've been doing really well. Um, their defense always poses a challenge. I mean, what they do defensively, they're very aggressive. They bring a lot of pressure, um, you know, so that's a challenge as well. And then not to mention, you know, the past three games, they showed a different defense. So, you know, we'll be kind of playing a guessing game and we'll have to double prep for what they do defensively. If it's their base odd man front or their even man front that they've shown over the past three weeks. So that's a challenge right there. Just the multiplicity of what they've shown throughout this season. Um and then, you know, when you you kind of mix in what they do offensively, you know, but again, you know, it's I kind of said the same thing about the Trinity game. I'd like to think that we're in a different standpoint right now. I mean, if you look at where kids are aligned and our personnel and everything, um, you know, from week three, week two, week one to now, it's completely different. And I said that last week against Trinity um, and, you know, it didn't really work out in our favor, but I still think that, um, you know, Trinity is a really good football team, but I think we're a really good football team as well. And I just think that, you know, games like that, especially with Trinity, come down to a few plays here and there. And, you know, they were able to make a few more than we did. And um, we're not going to sit and, and whine about it. We just correct it from the film, correct it from the practice, and we move forward. But, you know, their multiplicity on defense, especially over the past three weeks, and what they do offensively, that that poses a big challenge. But like I said, however, um, I'd like to think that we're a little different at this point in juncture, and I'm excited for that match. I think we all kind of we're looking forward to and it guy it goes back to your original question for Keysport. We felt like, you know, we that we definitely didn't deserve to win that football game that first time around, but we felt like we did some uncharacteristic things that were very basic corrections. Um so we're hoping that, you know, we get a second opportunity here. And um, you know, I can't put the carpet for the horse, but I think we're very optimistic and we're very excited about that second opportunity to go out to prove to ourselves um, you know, that that was uh, a contest that um like I said, we didn't necessarily deserve to win, but we surely um, were a little better than what we showed. So it's a big challenge for us to kind of redeem that first loss um, and and do everything we can to keep this season going. Matt, thanks so much for doing this. Uh, congrats on making the postseason, and hopefully you can string together another long postseason run here in 2024. No doubt, guys. That's what we're going for. That is Matt Humbert, the head coach of Bell Vernon area.